All right, welcome everybody. This is Josh Shanley, and uh, welcome to something new we're trying called Client Alchemist Unplugged, where we're going to be raw and unscripted and, and, and unedited, and each week we're going to meet with one of our client alchemists, uh, a guy who's been a part of our community for quite some, not, some time, uh, a guy who I'm going to introduce to you in a second. You can already see him on the screen, but I'll introduce him to you in a second. But the whole point of this Unplugged show is to just uh, track in real time what Mike is doing in his business so that you can learn from and model and pull ideas from that you can implement into your business so you can start attracting your ideal clients more easily and effortlessly. Mike's been a part of our community for a while, but he's just recently jumped back in to real estate sales with two feet. And he's going to explain that and why it's important to you, the listener, uh, a, as a point of, you know, if, if Mike can do it in the situation that he's coming in from, you can do too. And it's also one of the main reasons why we, we decided to do this with Mike in particular. Um, so Mike's going to, in this first episode, what we're going to do is share Mike's backstory, share with you some of his goals for the first 90 days of him getting back into the business, some of the things he's done so far, and then give him some some ideas, some some things to implement. And then in episode two, in a week or so, we'll check back in with Mike and see how things went. So Mike, uh, Mike Kemper is uh, uh, in Arizona. You can see the Arizona State uh, Sun Devils hat on. And uh, what we're going to do first is, Mike, just why don't you share your backstory? I might dig a little bit here and there. And then let's get into what you've done thus far in the, what, two weeks since you've jumped back in with both feet? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, first and foremost, thank you so much for for giving me the opportunity to to be on this first episode. I'm I'm super super stoked and excited, and and thank you for all that you do for our whole real estate community, man. I mean, we we've been friends for for years, and uh, you, you've helped me immensely. And this is all about giving back. Me being live, raw, unplugged. Um, you can see I'm wearing my ASU hat. I'm in my grubby clothes. I was just at a listing this morning, digging up some uh, irrigation and fixing uh, uh, a, a leak. It's just nice. this is Not raw. afraid to get your hands dirty to help your clients. I love that, man. I love that. that. Yeah, that's that's true. That's what it's all about. It, it, real estate is about helping people, and that's where so many people go wrong. But that, that's Amen. a whole other story. Amen. Episode. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that in a future episode. <laughs> Right on, man. So uh, a little bit of uh, a backstory on me. So I, I, I got licensed in uh, in the state of Arizona for real estate in 2007, and I've been inconsistent at best, literally at best. I've been an inconsistent uh, real estate agent. Um, two years ago, my uh, my wife, who was licensed way before me, she was licensed in, in 2002. Um, she came up with the idea that we needed to, to get a team and then uh, get a buyer's agent on, and uh, it, it would it would help us. And um, since I kind of have a little bit of a background just from you in marketing, my role in the team for the past two years was lead generation, lead conversion, and just marketing to the best of my abilities. And even in doing that, it was inconsistent at best. Um, but we were still doing consistent transactions, which was good. But ultimately, I was unfulfilled. I was unhappy. And two weeks ago, um, I chose to leave our team and to go 100% out on my own, not bringing a book of business or anything else. Our buyer's agent actually has the vast majority of the book of business because I was behind the scenes lead generating. So I, I, I can't go to the people that we've sold to as a team and say, hey, I was the guy behind the scenes. Use me. You, you know, right. it, yeah. none, of, none of that works. So, I, I mean, I literally don't have anything except some of the leads that I've convert or that I've generated over the last couple months and everything that I've done in the past two weeks. So I literally have no book of business, which is why I'm, I'm excited to follow Client Alchemist 100% step-by-step, step, only using your, your tips and your strategies for everything that, that you and Jeff have laid out. Well, that's, so that's awesome. That's little, yeah. Yeah, so, so uh, although you are, let, let's, so let's, let's set the stage here. You're starting from scratch in the sense that you didn't bring any business with you, you didn't bring any listings with you, anything like that. However, you are bringing past experiences and knowledge and things that you've picked up over time by being, at least on some level, an implementer and an action taker. So uh, let's not be, uh, I, I don't want to uh, uh, be deceptive in the idea that like you are a complete newbie and have no idea, 
but you are starting over in, in a sense, okay? So uh, no matter where you're at in the spectrum, if you want to learn how to attract more business to you, you're gonna wanna follow the show here, okay? So whether you are a complete newbie, you're gonna you're gonna learn things, you're gonna, you're gonna have takeaways that you can implement, or if you've been someone who's maybe been with us for a while, or uh, uh, you, you've had some success, but you're looking for maybe a little bit of a better way, or a slight tweak to what you're doing so you can get better results. This is going to apply to all of you. So, Mike, you it's been about two weeks, right, since you kind of struck out on your own. Uh, you're working with a new brokerage, et cetera. What has those first two weeks looked like for you? It's been scary, truth be told. I, I, I mean, literally, I, I, I went from you know, having like a firm foundation in a team that I could rely on to 100% being on my own and literally starting from scratch. I mean, I, I, I don't really have a book of business, like you said. So my my only option at this point is massive success because I still have a mortgage to pay. I still have my bills to pay. Sure. And it's all the success and failure is completely on my on my shoulders. So what I've done in, in the past two weeks, well, now it's about two, two and a half weeks, is um, I've contacted all of the leads um, that, that I've generated over the last couple months that I haven't converted. So like all of the good stuff went to our buyer's agent, right? So she closed all of all of that and all of the non-responsive leads is what I have to deal with. And, and so, I mean, that's literally my book of business, non-responsive leads. Which is, and, and it's and about, le it's less than I'm, I'm generating through your... Oh, oh yeah, it's way less than a than hundred. Yeah. Um, yeah, just just, just to, to quick fast forward, um, we had a conversation a couple days ago when we said, let's just do a raw show. Let's let's show like the good things and the bad things, you know, the, the, the successes, the strengths and the areas of opportunity, because there's so much fluff out there in real estate and neither you or I are fluff guys. We, we don't want to BS anyone. Real estate is hard. It, it's 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 a challenge. We're not just real estate agents. We're marketers. And that's what Client Alchemist has taught me to be is a marketer. And then, obviously, I, I need to follow all of the re real estate protocols and, and procedures for the state of Arizona in in the process. Well, but yeah, I mean, I, I think that's that that's one of the things most frustrating for me about real estate is like, um, unfortunately, there's not enough people out there teaching what we're trying to do here, and and we're not the only ones, but what we're trying to help people do here, which is is uh, you know, it's one thing to understand how to fill out the forms and be compliant and all all of that. It's another thing to learn how to get business. And it's another thing altogether to learn how to get business in the in, in a in a way that is more attractive to the consumer and to you. And what I mean by that is by not hounding people, uh, spending hours a day on you know cold calls or knocking on doors and doing all that kind of stuff. And so um, I know that you, you said to me a couple of times, you've been doing what you have called the Facebook hustle in, in the last couple of weeks. So let's talk a little bit about that and the result that has come from that and then how we're going to help uh, sort of uh, take that result and turn it into more results, i.e. clients for you uh, over the next couple of weeks. Awesome. Okay. So yes, for for the past two weeks, I've just been doing the the Facebook hustle to essentially like my cold market. Because truth be told, I'm I'm still kind of scared to go to my warm market and say um, I'm jumping into real estate. I left my team. I, I mean, I just I just need to work up my confidence and and just hit those people. But in in the past two weeks, I'm sure there's probably other real estate agents that will be watching this. Real estate agents are notorious for going a million different directions and trying a diff a million different opportunities. So I figured it's less scary for me to try like the other stuff, all of the side stuff that I've done over the past year, um, whether it be affiliate marketing, network marketing, MLMs, w whatever. I have a, a decent amount of Facebook private messages um, that have been started that I haven't followed up with for months and months and months because I'm no longer doing those opportunities. I'm 100% laser focused in real estate. So what I did is I took immediate action and I messaged 20 people. There was 20, I think it was 22. Oh, was it 20? Anyways, it, it was right around 20 people that I had these personal messages with from January, February, March. And I sent them a message and I said, hey, what's going on? It's Mike. I want to let you know that I'm no longer doing any of these other opportunities. I am 100% laser focused just in real estate. I would love it, love it and appreciate it if you'd give me the opportunity to help you or anyone you know buy or sell a home. And I left it at that, sent out 20 messages and I got one response. Literally one person responded out of 20. And I was like, oh, 
crap. But that one response was, this is perfect timing. And I sent back question mark, question mark, question mark, what do you mean? And she said, well, we just fired our last real estate agent. We're stationed over in Germany. We used to obviously live in Arizona. We're in the Air Force. We're stationed over in Germany, and we need to sell our house. And I was like, wow, that's perfect. You know, I was in the Air Force for 10 years. I'd love the opportunity to help you out. So um, long story short, through all of this, through Facebook messaging, I, uh, I I got my first listing in two weeks. I mean, it's it's not huge, but it's a $217,000 listing that I got from marketing to cold people on Facebook. So, I mean, that that's like, you know, over a $6,000 commission if I sell it at, you know, close to list price. That's pretty darn good for free Facebook hustling. So now that's given me more confidence to go out to other people. So I've got other stuff going and I've generated um, some additional leads in the past two weeks. And then I have a total of 63 leads to work with right now. So like we were talking earlier, um, I've sent out 63 emails, personal emails in the past 36 hours using 100% your systems, the client alchemist. In the past 36 hours, I've received 22 responses, which is just over a 34% open rate. So, or I take that back, 22 people have opened the, the emails and 15 people have responded. So uh, unfortunately in there, um, I've had five people say that they've already purchased a home, which kind of crapped me out. But you know what? That's It's my fault. I wasn't following up with them. I wasn't being diligent. On the flip side, seven people out of the 15 still said that they are 100% interested in buying a home in the next three to six months. So in the past two weeks, I've got a listing. I've got um, seven people that are interested in buying. And oh yeah, um, I've got one one listing appointment set for Saturday. Um, so the guy sent me an, an email and said, this is, this is great, great timing for you, crappy timing for me. I'm in the middle of a divorce and I need to sell my house. Could you please help me? And so Two weeks taking action, just solely doing client alchemist, seven buyers that are in the market. I already have one listing and one listing appointment. So literally this stuff works. So let, let's, I'm going to summarize them. We're going to wrap up and, and, uh, and give everybody a little bit of a tease of, uh, to, to get the, to get you all to come back to next week. So, um, so, you know, Summarizing what he did with the, the Facebook hustle, right? He was just being raw and honest and, and so forth, okay? All of you can do that. It's not necessarily a great long-term strategy, but it's something he can do right here and now to get something going. And by doing that, he got a listing, which we're now going to, in, in, in the next episode and probably moving forward, we're going to show you how he's going to leverage that listing and turn it into more of the ideal clients that he would like to attract. The other thing we're going to do in specifically the next episode is we'll dig deeper into the numbers that he shared. So what did he do to get uh, 22 out of 60 some leads to respond to him and to get, I'm sorry, to open his communication and then 15 of them to respond, seven of which say, yes, I'm still interested in doing, uh, you know, buying or selling real estate in the next three to six months and get a listing appointment. So we'll dig into specifics on that in the next episode. However, before we sign off, a couple of things that I would strongly recommend that you do. Below this video or somewhere with this video, depending on where you're watching it, there will probably be a link to check out the Client Alchemist Pro membership. We've got a special offer right now for charter membership. You can check out more details of that uh, right there. The other thing that you're going to find with this video is a place that if you want and you would like to get updates of new Client Alchemist Unplugged episodes right in your inbox, you can do that as well. So there'll be a little button or there'll be a link where you can sign up. We'll send you new episodes each and every week following and tracking what Mike's doing in his business so you can learn from it, so you can model it, um, so you can take it and figure out a way to apply it to your business, your market, etc., etc. Mike, Thank you so much. Uh, we had some tech, technical difficulties, so this took us this first episode took us a lot longer than anticipated. So appreciate your patience there, so we could get this right, so we can share this with everybody. Um, I can't wait already for next week because I know that uh, uh, the, the things are only going to go up, right? And the cool thing, one last thing I'll say about this is we're not we're going to be very very open and honest and unplugged. So when we do something and it doesn't work, we're going to share that just as much as. You know, we're not trying to, uh, you know, just only uh, put a lipstick on what we're doing here. We're right. going to share everything, good, bad, ugly, 
um, so that we can all learn together so that we can all get better at, at this stuff. So Mike, thanks again. Everybody else, check out the links or the, you know, whatever uh, accompanying this. Check out the pro membership. Get signed up to get uh, new episodes of this unplugged uh, concept right in your inbox. And we'll talk next week. Bye, guys. Click the link below.